hello friends so today we are going to see how to create a custom page in drupal 10 so this is my drupal 10 project setup in my local environment so now we are going to create a custom page in drupal 10 okay let's get started so to create custom page uh, basically we will need three files those are uh, routing file, .info file and controller file. So .info file we already know to create the custom module. In previous video I have showed you uh, how to create a custom module. So .info file is a uh, necessary file to create a custom module. Then now we will create a routing file. Routing. Okay. So this is my first file, routing file. So in this uh, here it is started it says hello world dot content hello world is my custom module name then content I have uh, just uh, mentioned any name so that, that in this pattern it is recommended to write the uh, routing first line and then we have path uh, path it will decide what will be the URL in your browser when you will hit so when you when I will be hitting slash hello so what should I print that defines below these four five lines then we have to write defaults then the title what will be the page title and then uh, what controller you want to call so that is drupal then inside drupal we have hello world custom module then in the controller then in the controller folder as you can see in the custom module we have hello world hello world module here and then controller so this is our second file to create uh, a custom page in src we have controller okay so uh, hello world is the title of the page then where you want to go so for controller we have we, we have de defined the controller in the path like drupal inside drupal we have custom module name that is hello world and then in the controller we have hello controller that is hello controller and inside hello controller.php we will have we want to call a content function and then requirements permission access content we want to provide the permission to access the page and then uh, i will show you the content function in the hello controller so this is our second file in the second file as we can see hello controller.php that is inside hello world custom module then inside src then controller folder we have hello controller.php okay then we have defined the namespace uh, to define our hello controller.php that is drupal and then hello world is my our custom module then controller because this is our controller file and then we are using a uh, predefined drupal classes those are inside core those are the core part then controller then controller base we are using those libraries okay then in the class we have created a class hello controller that is the name of the controller.php and then we are inheriting the controller base that means core controller we are inheriting so that we can write our own function own methods to manipulate the data so we have to inherit the core controller base then we can do anything whatever is the requirement okay okay then we have created a function public function content inside content uh, we have called array that will be type of item markup is whatever we want to show on the page and then returning the array okay so these two files are necessary files to create the custom page and that info file you already know uh, when we are creating a custom model this is the necessary file so these three files will create the custom page in the custom module okay so let me uh, show you how it will affect on the front end so we have created a uh, hello controller.php inside we have written it works so where it is printed so it is showing here it works so this hello world uh, this is my spelling mistake so this hello world is coming from over here 
from the routing file as you can see uh, i will correct the hello world spelling and also in the controller i will change something like this okay i'm saving then let me show you the result this is our custom page slash hello is the path and here uh, you can see hello world is there and it works you can see hello, slash hello is our custom path okay so i will change again in the routing file oh i haven't saved the i haven't saved the page that save the page that is why it is showing like this i will reload the page oh i uh, i guess i need to remove the cache that is why it is not updating so i need to remove the cache cache is removed successfully then you will reload the page now it is showing the correct spelling as you can see i hope you understood how to create a custom page if you if not then please write in comment box i will explain you thank you bye bye